Boom! What is up, Hoops fans? Thank you for joining me for another episode of Let's Ball with College Hoops 2K8. I'm Jay Dumont. We're coming off a huge Marquette win. That was super satisfying. And now we're up against UC Riverside, who's 8-3. And, and if I look in the mid-major poll, UC Riverside... Oh, UC Santa Barbara. I thought UC Riverside was listed here. Alright, so let's check it out. We're starting conference play. Oh, they have a big time score. Vidal Lawson, their senior shooting guard. Sanguasi, their junior shooting guard. <coughs> Doesn't shoot a lot of threes, but this guy does. Well, they have a lot of shooting guards, and they're all scoring. No one too big. I think we're ready to rock in our first... Well, did I do my recruiting this week? Yeah. We're ready to rock in our uh, first conference game. They are 8-3, and three, though, so we can't take them too lightly. We're at home. This place should be sold out after beating Texas and beating Marquette. Won't be though, it has to go up gradually. <coughs> Get ready for college hoops. Dang. Maybe if we're ranked it'll be different. What I'm interested in is seeing college hoops tonight and then seeing if we rank starting next week. Your take, Bill. We're 8-2. 2-1 two. Two well, against the top 25. Get Webb on Lawson at all times. Both looking to lead their team <coughs> to a win. We'll see who succeeds. Probably go a little bit deeper on the bench in conference play. I don't know, we'll see. Lawson's their point guard. Webb handled Doyle pretty well for Marquette. The Aggies win the tip off and the game is underway. I might shoot from out here. Oh! Doyle hands it off. Webb with the crossover. The shot down. And one. Hit it, got fouled, and he'll have a shot at the three point play. Good the job, Ransom. The foul and put He's it been down. big for us this season. <clears throat> Gave him three pep talks. I have to save those pep talks now, though. Foul shot is good for a three-point play. Lawson. Why isn't Webb guarding Lawson? Dishes it to the top of the key. Giles goes up. Could not get the layup to fall after that nice pump fake. I love the defense. Just because he's in tight doesn't mean you have to give up the easy deuce. No good on that last shot by Webb. This is the guy who shoots the threes. Songwasi. Only a few seconds left on the shot clock. Hess puts it up. The Awara keeps it alive on the offensive end. That offensive rebound didn't come to him by accident. He knew right where to be. From deep, That's the guy you gotta watch. By Jimenez. 
Nice work by the big fella to get that rebound. Backs in. Stolen away. Mm. The D was really waiting for him there. That's how you do it. Keep the heat on. That's it. Wait for the misstep. Fan play. He fought through the foul, no problem. And that'll give him the three point chance. Can't convert the three point play. Well, it feels a lot better facing a team that's equally talented. Morissette. Dishes it to the left wing. Crosses it over. Webb catches it. Left wing. Giles gets the board inside. A little sloppy on the release. You're right. Just a little, but it cost him there. Bounce pass. Left wing. Lawson. Can't give him that. Doesn't get the go-ahead basket to fall. Let's check in with our sideline reporter Tracy Wolfson, who has some info for us. Guys, earlier today I caught up with Coach Davis, and he said when you play against a team with such terrific athleticism, the key is to make it as hard as possible to attack the basket. They'll be looking to stop all penetration and force them to live outside the paint. Thank you, Tracy. He misses the first. I'm Bucky. Good on number two. Giles inbounds the ball. Oh, Bucky got lucky. Marie beats it to the wing. Doyle backs him down. Left wing. Takes the shot. Oh, he found me. By Marie. Raises up. The bank shot won't fall. But they're still out in front by two. <clears throat> Lawson. The Awara catches it down low. Sign the last shot laid gently in. He has a great feel for the game and its timing. He is such an outstanding passer. Rises and what are you dishes. doing? The steal by Hess. Tried to pump that fake. Just kills a coach. If you leave the floor, you better have something in mind. He didn't, and it cost him the ball. Hess backs in. Doesn't get the go-ahead basket to fall. And it's still knotted up four. Webb takes it up. Webb grabs the rebound inside. Webb with a great offensive Finally. Rebound. He worked so hard to establish position. Has it top of the key. Hess passes back to the high post. Don't let Hess shoot either. Out left, bounces it to the right. Giles, good for the fadeaway. Giles, it's now all knotted up. Just over 15 minutes left in the half. The lay-in was good by Marie. They're in front, eight to six. Lawson, way up court, skips it to the top of the key. <clears throat> Feeds right wing, shoots the turnaround. The but basket was Lawson. buried by Lawson, and we're all tied up eight. Marie brings it up court. Jimenez gets it on the inside. Missed shot in the paint by Morissette. Has fought for that rebound. That's some toughness for you. Songquasi dishes to the wing. Go ahead, shoot it. I'll give it to you. Beats it to the right. Lawson uses the crossover. Shoot. Sure. 
shooting two. He's our bench a bit more in this game. He misses the first. You see Riverside coach. They have to deal with some chemistry <coughs> issues after those substitutions because that gives them a pretty inexperienced lineup out there. Get loud, baby. And he gives them the lead. McElroy inbounds the ball. Right around 14 minutes left in the half. Webb swings it to the left wing. Webb backs him down. Doyle has it left wing. For three, Marie snatches the rebound. Yeah. Simple conversion, and somehow it doesn't fall. Those are the kind of shots that will haunt you for a while. Passes far side, stolen by UC Davis. The intercept. What great reflexes. He pounced in and picked that one off easily. Goes to the crossover. Webb fires. McElroy yanks it down inside. And one. Terrific work to absorb the contact, peg <clears> the air, <throat> and hit the shot. Pretty, Vern. Mallory checks in for the first time. The Back to on the free throw for the three-point play. Duffy inbounds the ball. I keep calling him Brendan McElroy, Bronson McElroy. Trap defense, hoping it will force some turnovers. Ek with the floater, almost a three-point <clears> opportunity. <throat> Instead, he'll go to the line for two. Try to get back. Can't sink the first. Sinks the second. Right around 13 minutes left in the half. Gets it right wing. Doyle passes to the right side. They're going to double team him. Tampa ah. is gathered up by Lawson. That's exactly already passing up to double. He couldn't see the floor the and just turned it over. Lawson. Dumps it inside. Duffy has it on the free throw line. Pass perimeter. Mallory. Ek picks up the foul. <coughs> goes over the back and and that's his first foul. Williamson inbounds the ball. Goes up. Mm -hmm. Go right down the line. Shots at the line. Shooting two. Don't stop ball while we'll attack. These aren't a skilled players, so they're more likely to foul. Knocks down the first one. The court teams are making substitution on the court. Marty Goff. Gets the second to fall as well. Some pussy. Nice. Get out Lawson. of here. Uh. Lawson pulls the trigger. Ledbetter grabs the rock. He'll usually drop a shot like that. Don't count on him to miss it again. Goff passes <clears throat> to the left side. <clears throat> to the inside. Ah. That will be a goal test. Hess inbounds the ball. Come 
on, Led. Better give him the business. Lawson. Lobs it to the inside. Shoots it. Nah. The oh. jumper was yes. buried by Hess. But they're still behind by one. Pass. Baseline. Backs down. Marie lets it go. Nails the turnaround jumper. He's got four. They're bringing the double team. Duffy. Catches it on the elbow. Left wing. Well, I would say we're definitely going to be ranked in the mid-majors poll next week. In the top 25, hmm, it's possible. Get that out. The rejection. He had his number that time. Perfect timing. Great footwork to get to that one. Releases. <clears throat> Three-pointer was no good by Goff. They still have a three-point lead. Duffy has it down low. Throws it up. The baseline shot off target. Still a double-digit game. Passes left side. Goff backs him down. No good from six feet out. But they still lead by three. Lawson. Gets it top of the key. Dishes it down low. Lawson tosses it up. Misses the tying basket. Goff did a good job to grab that rebound. Perfect position that time. Backs down. Ledbetter shoots from the post. Goff pulls it in off the glass. Ah. This is the layup. They still have a three-point lead. Hess dumps it off. <clears throat> Goff is doing everything but scoring. Song Kwasi catches it outright. He pulled down that offensive board like it was no problem. What a battler. Song Kwasi has it right blocked. No good on the last layup by Mallory. Just over eight minutes left in the half. Quick defensive reaction changed the trajectory. That's what great defenses do. Contest every shot. Misfired on that last three by Marie. Man, this game's up. looking pitiful. He got fouled and still almost made it. He'll go to the line for two shots. Shooting two. And he makes the first. Both teams are going to make some substitutions. <clears throat> Gets the substitution on the court. Crail to make his first stand off the bench. Chris inbounds the ball. All right, let's run something here. Left wing. Webb, nice move. Get Just in. Missed it. No three point opportunity, but he'll go to the line for two. Shooting two. He can't mm. the first. on the court. Cranford makes his first appearance. And Missed them both. The empty from the line. Give me that. Backs in. Goes up. I'd love to see that. 
He's lurking around, then pounce. Such a nice. Put it up and in on that last layup. There's no question and it's what crisp kind of at the five. Minimum. Crail. Beats it to the elbow. Duffy puts it up. No good on the elbow jumper. You have to hit that. Hard to imagine if you get a cleaner look. Takes it up. Oh. He'll shoot a pair of free throws. I thought I released that perfectly to get that shot in. Shooting one and one. He can't get the first. And even Ledbetter's missing threes. I mean, free throws. Is needed out on the floor. He didn't get much of a rest. Duffy inbounds the ball. Ah. That's his first, first, that's his first foul of the game. He foul. should concentrate on just getting good position instead of flailing away at the ball like that. The crossover. Duffy. Nah. Can't get the jumper to fall. That's the shot you work for, Bill, even though he's not their number one option. The defense will have to show him some respect because he will hit that given another chance. Catches it, left wing. Goff goes up. Goff snags it. Takes it up. Goff. Still can't get it to fall. But they're still out in front by four. McKee dishes to the left wing. Goes up. Almost got a foul. That's his second the line to shoot penalty situation. Alright, let's get Jimenez in here. Say a hole. Knocks down the first one. <clears throat> Some glossy is saucy. He gets the second to fall as well. The Aggies are going to shake things up a little bit with some subs. Williamson inbounds the ball. Right around six minutes left in the half. Left corner. Doyle behind the arc. It drops. Doyle. They push their lead to five. Do you see Riverside coach wants to talk it over with his troops? Hey, if you've got the timeouts, you might as well use them. You can't take them to the bank with you. Islanders will make some substitutions. Let's wear my song glossy and we're good. Hess hands it off. Passes it back to the wing. Crail skips it to the right. And the key. Pass right wing. McKee gets it baseline shoots the turnaround get that out of here by Williamson this crowd is going insane I love the energy of this building listen to them Hall launches one from beyond the arc Cranford gets the rebound they're still up by five God Hall can't shoot the three right wing it's Elmer Irvin who can shoot the three
passes to the top of the key. From downtown, buried by McKee. They narrow the gap to two. About four and a half minutes left in the half. Jimenez will bring it up court himself. Doyle unloads. Can't return the favor with his own three. But they're still up by two. Crail dumps it off. Hess catches it left wing. Mallory didn't get that rebound by accident. Get it out. He knew right where to be. Webb goes to the cross. Beautiful. Sweetness. They Webb. gave him a look and paid for it. They're going to try to disrupt the flow of the offense with this half court trap. Mallory has it in the paint. McKee beats it to the wing. From deep. What a good job on the defense to make him think about that shot. Sizing up his man. Dishes to the left. Terrific job clearing some space under the glass. Physicality prevailing. Stolen. Webb passes for a side. With the crossover. Jimenez gets it middle. Doyle has it out left. Paul puts it up. Beats the shot clock, but doesn't get the shot to fall. They've still Two got a four point lead. Two minutes. McKee dumps it down low to the stripe. Cranford dumps it off. Shoots. The right. turnaround yes. is made by Hess. You see, Davis takes its first time out. All right. <clears throat> Getting set to inbound the ball. Both teams are making a few lineup changes. Jimenez inbounds the ball. 147. I like Webb at the one, down. though. Doyle. Passes it to the middle. The layup was finished by Jimenez. Jimenez. And they're now out in front by four. How big he is. Here's the spin move. Oh, <laughs> Marie would have just let him shoot. That was right there. And he makes the first. On the second, 115 left in the first half. Webb, nice little crossover. Mm. That's his strength. Webb. Finding the hole in the defense and exposing it.
Here comes the double team. Give me that ball. Webb gets the tie up, but the offense is going to keep it with the possession arrow pointed their way. Cranford inbounds the ball. He's doubled up. Lawson catches it far side. Passes to the elbow. Duffy catches it top of the key. Lawson swings it to the left wing. Dishes to the right block. Fab Cranford. UC Davis has had serious problems with their interior defense. And Tracy has a report from their bench. Coach Davis just told the players on his bench, we have to be more physical in the paint. Don't be afraid of some contact. Sounds like he'd rather have some fouls called than to keep giving up all those easy baskets. Thanks, Tracy. Webb with the Webb shot. foul for three. Ball, but that foul will give him three shots at the line. I was looking at that the whole way. Man, can't hit free throws this game. Neither team. Good on number two. And he nails the third. Duffy inbound. Oh. Fires. Oh no. First half comes to an end. The score 29 to 24. Give us your opinion on the first half, Bill. I can't think of too much good to say about this game, so Bert, maybe you can play by play and color. <laughs> Shooting terribly. For a team that's what are we, eight and two? Let's see who we have as our player. We the shoot half. the ball terribly. He has been an intimidator out there. He has impressed me not only with his ability to create offense for himself, but for his ability to change the opponent's offensive game plan. He's been a true asset at both ends of the court. Tremendous effort from our player of the half. Seem to play down to our competition a bit. Let's crank up the defensive pressure. Fast break. Let's crash the boards a bit. second half. Doyle inbounds it to start the second half. Takes a three. Got it. Why not? He's two for four from deep. Tracy Wolfson has more on what went on in halftime. Tracy? During halftime, I talked with Coach Davis. He felt that this lead wasn't going to be enough if they didn't change things up for the second half. I asked him what changes we could expect, and Coach told me that he knows his team can rattle their guards if they up the pressure. He said that if they can pick them up a little further out, it might throw a wrench in their My offense. I have to admit, it sounds a little diabolical. Back to you. Thanks, Tracy. Let's see if they took that advice. That's how you answer. Give up a three, and then get it right back. Marie, great finish in traffic. Marie. He's shooting 50% of the game. He's doubled up. Give me it. The full court press causes violation. the offense to struggle oh. the floor, resulting in a 10-second violation. I'll take Plus, that. You don't just hang out in the backcourt. You've got to bring it up. That's not using your head. Morissette inbounds the ball. Doyle. 
Feeds it to the high post. Webb backs down. Giles yanks it down off the glass. He worked hard for that shot, but the defender worked just a little bit harder. That post up to fadeaway is not a very reliable shot. Hess passes to the top of the key. Out left. Diawara. Boom back. Takes it up. They crash the offensive glass and get the basket by Hess. He's three for six for the game. Swings it to the wing. Marie gets it down low. Defensive foul. That's his third personal foul. First team foul. <clears throat> nice play. Shooting two. Knocks down so the first two. Shoot. Shoot. Duffy didn't sit for long, and he's coming back into the ball game. He gets them both. Diawara inbounds the ball. Under 18 minutes left in the second half. Skip pass, top of the key. Lawson. Awesome. The Awara. Sonquasi for three. Webb has it. And that's his fourth rebound thus far. He got the look he wanted to there, Bill. I wouldn't let him have too many more of those. He can light you up in a hurry. He's double teamed. Morissette dishes it to the right wing. Last tray off the mark by Doyle. The Awara went after that rebound hard. Great Get him. work. Passes it to the corner. Goes up. The Elijah finger roll was Sonquasi. flipped up and in by Sunquasi. Nine points and he is the leading scorer. Webb. Dishes it to the corner. Doyle shoots it. Knocks down the shot after using Doyle. the up And they go up oh. by seven. Stolen away by UC Davis. I'd love to see that. He was lurking around, then pounced. Such a deep burn. Takes it up. Draws the foul, and he'll get a trip to the line. Extend this lead a bit. Webb is down on the court. Seems to make an injury. Oh. Well, that's bad news. Well, we'll just have to wait and see how long it sidelines him for. Hopefully, he recovers quickly, Vern. That's we'll not good. And try to get an update on his condition just as soon as it becomes available. That's not good at all. Webb injured. He gets the second to fall as well. Duffy inbounds the ball. Anticipates the pass. Puts it up. Jimenez yanks it down. Capitalized on the offensive rebound. This is getting loud. And just haven't looked back. The student section is whooping it up now. How much fun are they having? Oh my, that's what it's all about. The passion for their team is just awesome. Bounce pass, right side. Sonquasi. The Awara gets the offensive rebound. Better not go back up with it. The Awara beats it to the corner. Top of the key. Passes it to the right side. Duffy backs in. <sighs> Good 
Doyle launches it. Hess oh, it in. almost it's got on board. Takes it up. Turn Get that away. out. Bucky. Feeds high post. <clears throat> Are they running with four guards in a center? Hess catches it right wing. I think they are. Lawson beats it. No, the there's Duffy. Outright. Hess pulls the trigger. Jimenez wipes the board off the window. He got it up there, but it just wouldn't fall. With a little more touch, it might have. Skips it to the free throw line. From inside. Oh, net of a shot by Jimenez. Jimenez. They're up 44 to 31. The Highlanders will try to put a stop to this run. Oh, throw it down, big man. You see Riverside coach saw and something out there he didn't like. He called for timeout. He wants to make sure that everyone is working together out there. Some substitute he hasn't had a good game so far, and he's going to sit down for a while. Hess inbounds the ball. The Highlanders with some difficulties. You know what kind of defense they're in, don't you, Vern? Minimum. EK. Bounces it for a side. Duffy. Go ahead, I dare you. Ah. Oh. Should have backed up, gave him some room, and then swatted it. And he makes the Guess first. we can't get the camera rock and not enough attendance. He gets them both. Webb was hurt early on, and Tracy Wilson has checked on his condition and has this update. Tracy? Well, Vern, it could be worse. I'm told that it's not a serious injury, although his knee is very sore right now. He's been cleared to return if necessary. We'll see if they give him the go-ahead to get back on the floor. Whoa. To you guys. All right, Tracy. The Awara inbounds the ball. Everybody well, will be done. His knee is very point. sore. Except the defense, apparently. That will be done for the night. Don't need to bring him back in. Dumps it inside. Duffy backs him down. Unless this takes a turn for the Lawson. worst. Gets it left wing. Risky pass. Duffy shoots oh. the post. Marie with the nice D. Duffy is having a hard time getting his shot to go, Vern. You just hope it doesn't wreck his confidence, but it's hard to see how it would. Mmm. Doyle is killing it this game. 16. It's a season high. Do you see Riverside Court? He's going to let his team have it. He just can't be happy with the run that they've had just now. Looks like they're getting set to cool. inbound the ball. The Awara inbounds the ball. Top of the key. The crossover. Swings it to the wing. Lawson dumps it inside. Oh. Not good on the last layup by Duffy. You can't D up down low any better than that. That's terrific defense. Let's it go. No luck on the three-point attempt. 
but they still lead by 19. Duffy. The steal. Oh, the quick hands. Before they even knew what hit them, he made off with that one. Doyle's rolling, so let's let him out there. And he makes the first. The Highlanders are making substitutions. Get some Ernest led better action. He gets the second to fall as well. Ledbetter got a quick breather, but they need him back on the floor. Mallory inbounds the ball. UC Riverside is shooting itself in the foot with floor. all the turnovers. Tracy has something for us. The head coach stood in front of the bench a moment ago and said, if we can't hold on to the ball any better than this, there is no way we can win this game. Guys, he's trying to get his message across loud and clear. So our winning right, formula Tracy. is forcing a lot of turnovers. That's the one thing we're good at. Has we shoot terrible the percentages, but we stay in it because we he force can. turnovers. This is to the right block. Defensive foul. That's his second personal foul. Second team foul. Shooting two. Be funny if he airballed it. Knocks down the first one. And he'll come away one. Oh, two, did you let him get that? Who fouled him? He'll take the foul. That defender clearly got some contact. He tried to make the shot. Yep, that's an open and shut case. He got hacked. And he makes the first. He gets them both. McElroy inbounds the ball. Right wing from long range. It was hit by Williamson. He's got three. Giving me wide open threes. I'll take them. Find some answers here. We're actually making them this game. And it's scooped up by Williamson. The intercept. What great reflexes. He pounced in. And Doyle again. Third personal foul. Fourth team foul. Shooting two. Knocks down the first one. On the court. Didn't sit for long, and he's coming back into the ball game. He's off on the second. Under 11 minutes left in the second half. Can get Goff out there. Sonquasi backs in. Mallory gets it right side. Passes right wing. Lawson. Cranford beats it to the left corner. Last ray off the mark by Hess. Oh, the defense was up to the challenge on that shot. Good job closing on the shooter. Could have popped that one again. Doyle. Get Boom. Him. Boom. Doyle. He's got 21. 21. The Highlanders are really struggling. Lawson catches it. Left wing. Lawson. Hess passes to the right wing. To the paint. Goes up. Right. Hit it. Yes. Just as the shot clock was winding down. 
but they still trail by 22. Doyle dishes it cross court. Pass to the elbow. Williamson unloads. Got free with the up fake, but the shot off target. But they're still out in front by 22. Stolen away by Doyle. Uh, not a good entry pass, Fern. You just can't force it in there. Doyle fires the three. Again. He's shooting 45% from beyond the arc. Under nine minutes left in the second half. I'm out on the floor. You see Riverside. All right, Doyle's had his night. Switch things up a little bit. He's going to take time to make sure everybody's clear. Let's get golf the out there. Where's Elmer Irvin? Oh, he's in there. Isaiah Hall. Well, it looks like they're getting set to inbound the ball. Substitution on the court. So total finishes with 24. That's a season high by far. Diawara inbounds the ball. Hess dumps it off. Gets it top of the key. E.K. passes to the right side. Beats it to the left wing. E.K. Songkwasi has it right wing. The last shot missed from three-point range. I don't think he'll miss many more of those looks. Puts it up. Wrapped inside by Giles. The Highlanders need to mm. find some answers here. The defense couldn't have left them any more wide open. Were they ever lucky? Deflects the pass. But it's recovered by UC Riverside. Songkwasi catches it on the elbow. Down low. Giles takes it up. Defense misses, but he'll get two shots from the line. So this looks like it's going to be an easy win. Shooting. I'm interested to see. And he makes the first. What happens after this? They're going to go to one and own conference play. Gets the second to fall as well. Williamson inbounds the ball. Williamson. Urban gets the board inside. Has it outright. Backs down. Skip pass to the elbow. Throws it up. Ripped down inside by Hall. And even our second EK unit is doing work. The Awara. You see Gets Riverside, it. and they're eight and three. How are they so eight and three? Dishes it to the wing. They must just be having a bad night. It happens. It happened to us against Jackson right. State. Giles backs him down. I bet Sanguas is usually nailing post. threes. Vito or Lawson. Sanguasi takes the shot. Misses the three-pointer. The defense did a really good job of closing out on the shooter back there. Well, you have to stay in his face or he'll kill you. Passes back to the high post. Williams catches it, right wing. Pass to the elbow. Ledbetter backs down. Goff corrals the miss. The fadeaway <laughs> jumper doesn't go. 
but they're still up by 23. Goff gets a ton of offensive boards, can't get a putback. EK skips it to the free throw line. Here's the double team. Song Kwasi shoots. Light. Good Song from Kwasi. downtown. 12 points, and he's his team's leading scorer. High post. Dishes to the right. Urban backs him down, hands it off, but it's retrieved by Williamson to end the drought. Williamson attacks the offensive board. Oh my gosh! Raises up. Elmer. It took him three Elmer turns. Urban. Finally made by Urban, and they now go up by twenty. We're gonna shoot about twenty percent in this game and still win by twenty-five. Crosses it over. The last Final shot dealer. played gently in. Irvin inbounds the ball. Passes. High post. Williamson dumps it off. Irvin backs in. Rises and dishes. Gets it right wing. Goff passes it to the wing. Williamson uses the crossover. Shooting two. Ernest Chris, some time of the three. Knocks down the first two. Both teams are going to shake things up a little bit with some subs. Gets the substitution on the court. Williamson will leave the floor, and he's and really everyone's played in so the game. The Awara inbounds the ball. The Highlanders have got a lot of ground to make up. Crail releases, misses the long one. The D wasn't too worried about that one. Gave him room to get it off. Mainly because they prefer the long three over him driving it in. Backs him down. Bounces it to the baseline. Goff. Can't get the three-pointer to fall. But they still lead by 22. Dishes it to the top of the key. And Vidal Lawson. Passes top of the key. That's a 21 per point per game score. Speed by EK. And they're now behind by 20. He's done nothing this game. Has it top of the key. Chris backs down. Right wing. Tosses it up. Nearly mm. a chance for a three-point play. But go to the well, at least Goff will get on the scoring board here. Shooting two. So hopefully Webb's injury isn't severe. And he makes the first. Child is back in the game after a short rest. <clears throat> Like Marty Goff's hustle, though. Hustles for those rebounds. He gets the second to fall as well. Giles inbounds the ball. The Highlanders down big. Where's my guy? Duffy. Frail catches it. High post. So pretty easy win for our first conference game against UC Riverside. Lawson, the Awara lets it go, bricks it off the front iron. Another rebound for Goff. It's a seven. There wasn't anyone within a mile of him. Goff dishes to the right side. 
Backs in. Poked away. But it's two recovered by Irvin. Remaining. Two minutes. It's the finger Elmer roll to fall. Irvin. He's shooting 66% for the game. 153 left in the game. To the elbow. Passes Everybody the gets right playing game. time to have Crane. fun. Dumps it to the inside. The shot was knocked Duffy. down by Duffy. He's two for eight for the game. It's like a library here, Vern. We need some excitement to get this crowd going. Chris catches it, left wing. Chris backs in. Has it left wing. Puts it up. The turnaround shot was off the mark by Ledbetter. But they're still up by 22. Crail swings it to the left wing. Lawson takes it up. Misses, but he'll get two shots. That's the Lawson. first move Lawson made all night. Shooting. So we're going to go 9 and 2. We'll watch College Hoops tonight. Not sure we'll be featured one. with that upset over Marquette. And they lost another one after they lost to us. We wrecked them. Wrecked their confidence. <laughs> we destroyed their confidence as a team. He gets the substitution on the court. Duffy will leave the floor. And he's really been struggling so far. Hall inbounds the ball. Ledbetter passes way down court. Bounces it to the right wing. Goff. There you go, Goff. Goff. I don't think they can come back. There's too far to climb in too short a time. This you think? Low. You don't think they come back from 22 and 24 seconds? Come on, no fouls. And he makes substitutions. Both teams are making substitutions. He gets the second to fall as well. Gonna do it seventy three fifty three. And that's the ball game. Who's the player of the game? I wonder. You see Riverside, Highlanders. They were eight and three. And it's time to show you our oh, Doyle, game. yeah. Twenty four, five three pointers. Well done. Let's see if that gets his confidence boosted. Now let's go to Greg Gumbel back in the studio for today's Pontiac game-changing performance. Hi, and welcome everyone to the 2K Sports Studios. I'm Greg Gumbel, and we're going to bring you our Pontiac game-changing performance. There is nothing more exciting in basketball than a slam dunk that rocks the house. The UC Davis Aggie had their way on the inside today, and this tremendous slam sums up their dominance. Get a moment with this monster dunk. With intimidating moves to the hoop like this one, it's no wonder the score was so one-sided. Thank you, Greg. This is Vern Lundquist for Tracy Wolfson and Bill Rafferty. We hope you enjoyed this presentation of College Hoops on 2K Sports. See, we shot 37%, made six threes. A lot of free throws for both teams. Only three turnovers. We out rebounded them. Lots of offensive rebounds. Lots of steals. Lots of blocks. Cool. So, 
Hopefully Webb's injury isn't too bad. Everybody scored. Well, except Isaiah Hall. Songwasi. Alright, so did we do our training? Yep. So it's time to sim through this day. Watch college hoops tonight. Hi everyone, I'm Greg Dumble at the Anchor Desk with my partner Clark Kellogg. Coming up on College Hoops Tonight, we'll preview some of the biggest games coming up this week in the NCAA, as well as show you the best action from around the nation. But we begin with a special player who was an easy choice as our player of the week in college basketball. Rampong is a favorite to win this award every week, Greg, Rampong and he gets again. it this week. If there is anyone who Two doesn't games, consider him one of the best players points in the game. country, just take a look at his last few performances. Chikalbi Brempal. Now let's take a look ahead to the games that get top billing on the schedule in the days to come. I'm looking forward to this game just like everybody else. This matchup has the possibility of becoming quite a little rivalry because these teams match up so well against each other, and it's always a heated atmosphere when they're on the court together. Oregon 14 and 0, number one spot. But that's not the only item on the schedule that has NCAA fans buzzing. A meeting between a pair of top 10 teams is always entertaining, and there's certain to be plenty of action in this game. Neither side is going to give an inch in this contest. You can be sure of that. Huh. UCLA should come out Washington on top State. if I had to make a prediction. Their backcourt is so solid this year, and their guards love to get them. out and run. That gives them a huge advantage in a game that should be as fast-paced as this one will be. There was no shortage of excitement on the court in the past few days, so let's take a look oh. at our games of the week. We have a real shocker mine. here. I don't think too many fans saw this upset coming, which makes it even better. Providence, Providence crushed him. Marquette. This came right out of the blue, Greg. What a wild and crazy game. Marquette, we're jockeying for a number one seed, but this might throw a wrench in those plans. It would be tough to call them a top team. Well, we threw the first wrench. Like this. Bernard Gotta was show not us. going to be denied. His 22 points led all scores. Watching him basically put his teammates on his back and single-handedly carry them to the victory in a big game situation like this was stupendous. Although this next contest seemed predictable enough, one of the best teams in the country oh, suffered a severe shock to the system. Stanford was victorious over UCLA. No one could have predicted this outcome, Greg. UCLA were jockeying for a number one seed, but this might throw Got a wrench in those three plans. Pointers. It would be tough to call them a top team after a loss like this. Stanford was deadly from long range. Their three-point shooting made a huge difference. I don't know if they came into this game with a plan to attack from long range, but that's definitely the way it turned out. If you can consistently knock down big threes, it really wears down an opponent mentally. Sure does. It just is so deflating when you work on defense only to give up a shot from behind the arc. That's our show, everyone. For all of us here at the 2K Sports Studios, thank you for watching. We'll see you next week on College Hoops Tonight, brought to you by State Farm, the number one auto insurer. All right, let's check the top 25. Wow, Marquette really went down. We're not listed there. Are you kidding me? We're not even in the mid-major poll? We beat Marquette when they were the on top. Ah. I'm gonna take down Cal Poly. All right, fair enough. Gotta keep earning our scrap. 
DeWitt really wants to come here. Visit Gross at home. He was putting up some numbers. Let's visit him at home. Northridge. Wonder why no love for UC Davis. Gonna be a tough, tough matchup. All right, so thank you for joining me. See us Northridge next time. Nine and two UC Davis chugging along here. And uh, we'll see if we can crack that mid-major top 25 coming up here. So stay tuned, everybody. Maybe even the top 25. Who knows? Peace out.